how much more fuel efficient is shipping freight via train than truck? Freight trains can carry one ton of freight nearly 500 miles while using only one gallon of diesel fuel. Compared with over-the-road trucks, moving freight by rail reduces greenhouse gas emissions by an average of 75%, while also reducing road congestion and roadway wear and tear. The inherent efficiency of rail transportation, particularly for heavy bulk commodities such as grain, ethanol, plastic pellets, and aggregates, leads it to being a near-dominant form of transportation for long-haul bulk freight. One freight train can haul 200 cars or more, each with 100 tons of freight. It would take nearly 800 semi-trucks to move the same amount of cargo. The steel-on-steel -steel friction of railroad wheels riding on steel rails is much lower compared with the rubber-on-road friction that trucks have to contend with. Also, railway locomotives benefit from the physical size of their engines. Modern railway road locomotives are commonly 4 to 4,500 horsepower, some even more at 5 to 6,000 horsepower developed from one 16-cylinder turbocharged diesel locomotive engine. This means that horsepower per horsepower, railway locomotives' diesel engines are much more efficient than truck diesel engines. This is a similar concept to how small gasoline generators are much less efficient than large commercial power plants per kilowatt generated. Railway locomotives are evolving to be more energy efficient and many now conform to EPA Tier 4B requirements having automatic engine shutdown and computer-controlled engine management to monitor throttle settings. While not always the case, many times trains are not required to speed up and slow down as much as trucks. This also helps railway locomotives operate in more of a steady state at a more constant RPM, which minimizes fuel wastage. While railroads are no longer the dominant form in terms of volume of land transportation with over-the-road trucks moving more total volume and total dollar value of freight, railroads are still a strategically important form of transportation that transports around 40% of domestic ton miles and 15% of the total value of goods moved in the United States. Railroads also represent a 10 to 25% cost savings when compared with trucking costs on many routes which makes them a preferred choice on applicable longer routes and for firms moving bulk commodities. Emission standards will continue to tighten, with more supply chains putting a greater emphasis on green supply chains, which focuses on sustainability throughout all levels of a supply chain. Freight volumes are forecasted to rise 37% over today's total volumes, according to the Department of Transportation. By increasing the amount of freight on trains, the number of trucks that must travel on our nation's highways is reduced. This not only increases road safety, but also decreases roadway wear and tear and thus road maintenance cost. Many states and cities are investing large amounts of money to help convert freight from truck to rail because of these reasons. The state of Georgia built an inland port north of Atlanta, which allows for freight coming from its Georgia port authorities in Savannah and Brunswick to bypass the congested roads of Atlanta. These pressures will likely push a small increase in market share towards railroads from trucks over time. Converting just 5% of trucking freight to rail will eliminate around 9 million tons of greenhouse gases annually. Supply chains have always relied on a varied system of transportation to move different types of cargo globally. While trains are much more suited to long-haul 800 miles or more routes between major cities or from ports to major cities or distribution centers. Some larger manufacturing and warehousing facilities actually have railroad tracks that go directly into their factory, which facilitates using rail freight services. For shippers that wish to utilize rail service but don't have a direct railroad track connection at their facility, they tend to use intermodal transportation. Intermodal transportation is the process of putting freight in containers, then using trucks to move the container to a rail yard or port. This is known as first or last mile drayage, then loading the container onto a train for the long haul portion of the trip. The containers are transloaded back onto a truck for its final mile portion of the trip to the final destination. Intermodal is a popular form of transportation for shippers that ship freight across the country or across the border in North America, specifically between Canada and the United States or Mexico and the United States. While shipment times are generally a day or two longer than over-the-road trucks, intermodal again represents a 10-25% to cost savings, which adds up dramatically for larger shippers moving hundreds of loads per month. Many times, containers are double-stacked onto rail cars, which allows one rail car to carry two containers. This process was developed in the late 1970s on the Southern Pacific Railroad and really took off and flourished in the 1980s. Common intermodal shipment lanes in the United States would be a route such as Los Angeles to Atlanta, Los Angeles to Chicago, or the port of Vancouver to Montreal or New Jersey. What's also surprising about rail transportation is the sheer scale of the industry. The total U.S. railroad revenues totaled around $70 billion and generated $88 billion in wages. 
private railroad investment into infrastructure also totaled around $30 billion in 2015 alone. Railroads will continue to improve their efficiencies and invest in ever more modern locomotives to improve emissions and fuel consumption, while remaining a strategic backbone of American industrial strength and bulk freight capacity. Next time you have to wait at a crossing for a train to go by, just be glad that freight is on a train and not in an additional 800 trucks competing with you for the road. More videos are coming along very soon from Zmodal.